Williston is a town in Northern Cape, South Africa. Town 103 km northeast of Calvinia and 140 km southwest of Carnivon. Williston was originally known as a mandelboom as a large almond tree stood as the focal point of the town by the Sac River. The tree had been planted in 1768 by Johann Abraham Nell, a farmer and owner of the land that was to become the town, to commemorate the birth of one of his sons. In the early 19th century, the district was populated by pastoralists who constantly moved their livestock between springs in search of fresh grazing areas. These pastoralists were derogatorily referred to as basters as the pastoralists were of mixed race and descendants of the Koyan Dutch. In 1845, the community requested that the Rhenish Church, which had a mission station in Wuppertal, establish another mission station in Williston. Two missionaries were sent to Williston to assist the community with their spiritual needs. By 1845 a Rhenish mission station was established in the area by Johann Heinrich Lutz. In the 1860s a population of white nomadic farmers moved into the area. The arrival of the new farmers precipitated the movement of many mixed-race community members out of Williston. The mixed-race population migrated north across Bushmanland and crossed the Orange River into Namibia to the town of Roabot. Williston grew into a town around the mission station and it was declared a municipality in 1881. The town was formally renamed Williston in 1919 after the British Colonial Secretary of the Cape Colony, Colonel Hampton Willis. The town became an official district in 1926 and the area became known for its sheep farming, which continues to this day. The town often experienced droughts and water shortages. A local clergyman, Rev. S. Kuhn, used dynamite to blow up the town's central spring near the Sac River in an attempt to increase the flow of water. Unfortunately, all that Rev. Kuhn succeeded in doing was destroying the historic almond tree. The first Dutch Reformed church in Williston was built in 1878 while the town was still named a Mandelboom. The stone Dutch Reformed church in the center of the town was completed in 1912. A primary school teacher, Mr. J. H. Swart, who lived in Williston during the 1930s, engaged in a large tree planting project with his students. The tree-lined roads in Williston that remain are evidence of this planting project. The Dutch Reformed Church in Williston These houses were originally built by pioneer farmers in Williston, Fraserburg and Carnivon between 1811 and 1815. The Corbel House is regarded as the first architectural style in the northwest Karoo. Corbel describes the manner in which stones are stacked in the construction of these buildings. The farmers used flat stones, which are common in the area, to build the homes. The floors were made of sand which had been mixed with animal fat and blood. The floor was then polished with a flat stone. The interior of a Corbel house which still stands in Williston The Williston Winter Festival is an annual regional festival which takes place at the end of winter in September. It celebrates local dance, song and storytelling. Nama Riel dancers perform an ancient celebratory dance in the courtyard of the Williston Mall where the festival is held. The Williston Mall where the annual Williston Winter Festival takes place the town also offers a tombstone route out of Williston which follows the work of Cornelius, a master carver who engraved gravestones for the people of the Upper Karoo.